All right, so here's the, I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing of the uh, DS Power XS6 TT. It's the dark edition, dark edition. So it's, it's pretty much, it's a, an S Power engine, but it's a Pico based. So it's based off the uh, P3 TT. I think I got my P3 limited somewhere around here so I can compare it, but um, <clears throat> yeah, I really like the, the P3 TT, so I figured I'd pick this up with it being a limited edition, a limited run um, engine. I figured I'd pick it up just so that way I can, you know, have one and, you know, run it and stuff. I have the, um, the normal S6 TT as well, so I really, really like these Pico-based engines a lot. Um, I know the new, um, the new B7, B7, I believe, the B7TT, no, it's the, uh, the S-Power B7, I believe it's the B7TT, is a, um, OS-based, I, I think it's based on the B2104, B2104, I think, but, so yeah, we'll take a look at this one. So it pretty much looks the exact same as as the um, the Pico boxes. So you have you know your Pico manual, and all that good stuff. So uh, let's so get gives you a get a 6570 I believe it should have a 75 one handed but <laughs> so yeah here it is it's really really nice man these you know modern day peak like anything that's like the p the p3 tt based or no not e i think it's even the you know pico blast i want to say the pico blast and up you know the, the crank the the cartiers or the kit the crankcase is just beautiful man and um this this pico carb it's it's okay i I've never really had too much issue tuning it. I think the biggest issue that I have, and I, I think it's honestly just because I'm not a big fan of um, the uh, the short needle carbs. It's a um, short needle, but the difference is, can't quite get it off. I'll take it off here in a bit. But the, the difference being that this this carb is actually. It's a little longer than your average short speed needle. I think, so like on my reds, the short speed usually, you know, pulls all the way out of the spray bar, little shorter than half throttle. Whereas on this one, you know, you're, I'd probably say, I think it's like about three, a little, a little past half, maybe not quite three quarter throttle, but a little past half, you know. And um, so yeah, it's, really really nice engine and I compared it so this is pretty much so you you have your your standard p3 tt and your p3 tt uh, uh, ceramic DLC so this is pretty much like the limited version of the p3 tt so it's got your DLC crank it's got the um, the obvious that you know the three port and um, the same piston and the same rod I believe um, but where the limited edition P3 TT is, is, is slightly different is that the, the crank timing is actually different. So it's got a little bit different crank timing than your standard ceramic and DLC P3 TT. Where this one, when I compared, so I, I got two of these. I got one for a buddy of mine. And so this is my buddy's. And then mine, I opened up and 
um, took com took apart completely, <clears throat> and um, I actually have that one breaking in right now, so that's why we're taking a look at his. But um, um, the crank timing is actually the exact same as the um, the limited edition P3 TT, and when I was um, when I when I dialed this one and I checked the um, the sleeve timings, um, they were the same as the limited as well. So I'm, I'm, I'd imagine it's probably the same crank and same sleeve, um, which is which I find weird because when I was speaking with with somebody that that I I get my um, Pico parts from, the um, the limited edition p3 tt you can't get the 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 crank so you can get the p3 tx crank and the p3 tt crank but you can't get the limited edition crank you know with it being limited running stuff but you can get the dark edition s6 tt um crank so it's it's kind of weird but yeah it's man it's just a beautiful beautiful engine you know like I really like the red on the edges but then it's got like black on the fin faces it's really reminiscent of like the um the OS 83 really really similar how it has the blue and then the black facing it's really cool when you're when it's in the sun and, and you're looking at it from like up it's you know black but when you look at it from the side you beautiful red contrast it's really nice you know lcg head it's really 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 nice and um yeah i'll probably be doing some running videos of this one here pretty soon just i've had a couple people ask me if they can you know if i can do a, a breakdown video of this one so i figured i'd, I'd throw this one up you know a little early but um yeah, I'll probably get this one torn down. I'm working on my my NT48 um, uh, NT48 2.0. I recently did one of these for a customer that um, he he had me do a little bit of. Um, <clears throat> so he he doesn't like building his own kids he's he's not a big big fan of it you know he just wants to get them and, and go and he races at a local track here in, in Colorado and so he just wants to get him and go so you know I, I I build them for him and you know I try to mimic the specs that he does you know for his prior builds so but I like I was saying I was I was building it for him and I really really fell in love with you know this this kit it's really really nice I just finished building um, this one so this is an NT48 body but I just finished building this one and then this one so it has a, um, a, a 28 7 cooling head but this is actually a, a 28 5 that was modified by RCR so I, it was sent in with the 28.7 head, but it's a 28.5 with a drilled and filled crank, RCR modified, but I just finished this one and I was kind of upset because <laughs> I finished this one and then I, I built the NT4820 for, for uh, my customer and I was like, man, you know, I really fell in love with, with this kit, so I... I picked it up and I got all, you know, the M2C goodies for it, you know, the shock towers and and then um, <clears throat> you know, I got a box of goodies for it. So I got like the um, hub assemblies, the spindle kit, the hub carriers and I got I really like these red tetra clutches, so I got the steel one. To see goodies, so yeah. And honestly, these stock shock towers are so just so be 
beefy for stock shock towers. It's it's scary how beefy these shock towers are. I think it, when I measured it was six mils, man, all the way through, you know, except for these little pieces, but six millimeters of 70, 75, that's a slab. That is a slab of a shock tower. Just you know, ridiculous, but <laughs> and then <laughs> you got the M2C one and it's like, what the fuck? I think I measured it at got nine mils at the thickest points and it's like what the fuck I, I mainly just got it because of the bling and i hadn't done a kit in a while aside from the rc t4 and so i was like man i'm gonna i'm gonna do the full shebang on this one so that's kind of what i did um but yeah i think i'm gonna put the t6 the nova t6r in this one and then in my um in my Mugen, my old Mugen, I'm, I'm probably gonna throw the the um, S power in there. So I got a little little track that I run here at my at my house. So I'll I'll probably do that. And, you know, just have some fun. I mainly just bash. I send them pretty hard. So um, I have one of the uh, the Fresh Park uh, quarter pipe ramps. So that's usually what I send it off of. And, yeah, this this techno should take it pretty good, but yeah, I'll I'll, I'll tear this down and you know, probably post it up a little bit later. It's getting pretty late over here right now, so I'll, I'll probably post that up later and shoot some running vids and all that good stuff. But yeah, just figured I'd you know let a couple people see it. I had a couple people ask me, so yeah, there it is, the S Power S6 TT beautiful, beautiful engine, so.